So to integrate 1 over the square root of x plus 1, we need to do a rationalizing substitution. The integrand is not a rational function since it has a square root of x term which is a non-integer exponent. So we would like to transform this into a rational function in terms of u by doing a substitution. A rational function is essentially a fraction where both the numerator and denominator are polynomials. So the substitution we need to do is u equals the square root of x, which means du is equal to 1 over 2 square root of x dx. And if we multiply both sides of this equality by 2 square root of x, we get dx equals 2 square root of x du. And since we let u equal the square root of x, 2 square root of x du is just equal to 2u du. So this integral becomes the integral of 1 over u plus 1 times 2u du, since the square root of x is replaced by u and dx is replaced by 2u du. And if we simplify this expression, this becomes the integral of 2u over u plus 1 du. So the integrand is now a rational function in terms of u, since we no longer have any non-integer exponents. We need to do polynomial long division to split the rational function so that the numerator has a degree less than that of the denominator. Since the denominator u plus 1 is a linear term, we need the numerator to be a constant. So if we take the numerator 2u and divide that by the denominator u plus 1, then the quotient is 2 and the remainder is negative 2. This means the rational function 2u over u plus 1 is equal to 2 minus 2 over u plus 1. What we did was rewrite the rational function as the quotient resulting from 2u divided by u plus 1, which is 2, plus the remainder divided by the denominator, which is negative 2 over u plus 1. So this becomes the integral of 2 minus 2 over u plus 1. So we can do these integrals separately. The integral of 2 is 2u, and the integral of negative 2 over u plus 1 is negative 2 times ln of the absolute value of u plus 1, and then plus some constant c. If we substitute the square root of x back in for u, we get the final answer, which is 2 square root of x minus 2 times ln of the square root of x plus 1 plus c. We didn't need the absolute value around the logarithm, since the square root of x plus 1 is always positive anyways.